What's up guys, Mind Kitter here, back with another video and this time we are having a showdown between the best ink tank printer. But first, let's talk about what is ink tank technology. Ink tank printers, instead of that costly cartridge, have a tank of ink containers attached to them, which makes the cost of printing come down to only 10% when compared to cartridge printers. Unlike normal printers, where you have to buy a new cartridge when the old one finishes, ink tanks of these new printers can be easily refilled by ink bottles available everywhere now. So let's start our comparison with our first contender, HP ink tank printer, the GT5810 and the GT5820, priced at around 13,000 rupees or $200. Let me start with the details of what HP has to showcase from its ink tank segment. Currently, HP offers two such printers, namely the GT5810 and 5820. The latter is an upgraded version of the first one but without significant changes in function and features. Getting one of them will help you to lower monthly printing cost extensively. If HP advertisement regarding the promotion of ink tank printers were to be trusted, monthly printing cost in your office would be lowered by 95%. The HP ink tank printers, especially the GT5810 model, have a very high yield capacity. In fact, it prints 8000 colored and 5000 black and white pages from one set of bottles. A set of ink bottles is usually priced between 600 to 1000 rupees. Thus, HP is very right with the claim that its ink tank printers can print in color and black and white in less than 10 pesa or $0.0016 per page. I think this is the best one can expect from a new technology and from a HP ink tank printer. The next contender in our list is Epson with its huge range of ink tank printers. But we'll talk about only some particular ones like the Epson L130 ink tank printer which is priced at around 7000 rupees or 180 dollars in a low budget epson's l130 printer is another desirable printer for a small office it has a compact build it is economical too despite being a budget printer it offers best quality printing in fact the maximum print resolution can be as high as 5740 into 1440 dpi based on smart ink tank technology it could print close to 6,000 pages. Officially, the figure is 6,500. Just remind here, a set of color and black and white ink bottles cost less than 1,000 rupees or $15. Next up from Epson is the Epson L805 colored inkjet printer, priced at around 20,000 rupees or $310. Epson has been trying to tap every segment of market with its efficient printers based on smart ink tank technology. The L805 is a reliable printer. On the name of connectivity, it is equipped with USB and Wi-Fi. This is not a multifunction printer. It consists of one capability, just printing solution in laser and color mode. As far as printing speed is concerned, it is not at all the best at only 5 pages per minute. However, its operational cost is very low. Moving on to the Epson Ink Tank Printer ET455 O, priced at around 32,500 rupees or $500. It is the costliest printer on our list. How would you react if I say the new heavy duty Epson printer based on smart ink tank technology can print 11,000 pages? in black and white and 8,500 pages in color from one set of ink bottles. This is a multifunction printer, so it offers print, scan, copy and fax solutions as well. It is made very efficient in terms of power consumption. In fact, even at the operational peak, it will not consume more than 11 watt energy. The maximum print resolution the ET4550 offers is 4800 into 1200 dpi and its printing speed is close to 7 pages in color and 13 pages in black and white per minute. Furthermore, its connectivity front consists of wireless LAN and Wi-Fi Direct. The next contender is Brother. Brother DCP series 
priced at around 13,000 rupees, it has three models in the ink tank printer race, the DCP-T300, T500 and T700. The only difference between the DCP-T300 and 500 is that of Wi-Fi and between the 3700 and 500 is that of an automatic feeder, which I didn't know was a real feature. But leaving all that behind, the T700 has an impressive 6000 pages yield. The T700 is more than good for a medium sized office. Its printing speed is too fast, on an average 20 pages per minute and the first page comes out in only 10 seconds. It is not the best printer when it comes to build quality and has some problems like pages getting stuck in the printer and printer not taking pages automatically through the feeder when the quantity of pages is low. But it is the printer when a large chunk of pages has to be printed keeping per page printing cost very low. The next contender is the Canon Pixma series priced at around $15,000 or $230. Canon's decision to join ink tank market is quite surprising. According to customers' testimony on shopping websites, Canon comes at the top in the list of printer bands that exploits consumers really hard with costly cartridges, and the ink tank technology puts an end to their monopoly. The Canon Pixma print machine will give close to 6,000 pages printed from a single ink bottle, and I think it's appropriate to mention one more time. One can buy ink from third party manufacturers by paying less than 1000 rupees or 15 dollars. In terms of print quality, there is no match to Canon printers. They are not the best printers, however, when it comes to lowering printing cost, like 40 to 60 pesa or 0.030 dollars per page, might sound astonishing then, but it is true. By the way, a regular Canon printer prints at around 2 to 5 rupees or 0.1 dollars per page. The verdict. All the printers are really good, but the ones which particularly shown in our tests were the Epson and Canon ones. Not only they had good build quality, but also great printing at a surprising cost. The HP ones were good, but not up to the par with Canon and Epson because of their build. And the last one is Brother. Brother has some unique features up its sleeves like the LCD screen and being able to print 99 pages at once, but the problems were too bad to be ignored. So that was it guys, be sure to like and subscribe, this was Mindcater and we'll meet you in the next video.